Hey there, Libra. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. Take what fits your situation. Leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. We're going to jump right on in and see what's coming through for you. For Libra, please and thank you. What do we have for Libra today? Justice, of course. Libra energy coming out strong, you guys. If there was karma, it looks like you have paid that karma. I'm also getting um, something is coming back to you. Um, if you feel like something was taken from you or kept away from you or just out of reach is what it feels like. It looks like it's finally coming back to you. This is about something returning. I don't think it's a person. Although for some it could be. Yeah, five of coins. Something that was missing is coming back around. For some of you, this could be about finances. Right? Maybe you had a large expense. Um, this could even be if you file taxes and you have a return coming your way. This could be maybe you had to take some time off. But now you're back to work. Something is coming back to you. Swords. Ooh, I don't like that. I never like that card. Yeah, it's like somebody was keeping it from you or... It's almost like someone was spiritually trying to taunt you. Maybe making you feel like you don't deserve something or... It's almost as if their perception of your blessings has any kind of power over your own perception. Like if somebody says, oh, you don't deserve this, or you haven't done enough to receive that. But you have. If somebody got in your head, it's eviction notice for them. Yeah, there's something about the past, turning your back on the past, because it wasn't it either wasn't correct then or it's just, it's no longer relevant. You've changed, Libra. Libra. You've grown. A lot of communication cards. Princess of Coins. Yeah, something is returning to you. Or you've regained access. I'm also hearing resubmitted a request or an application. There's something new here. Yeah, rest easy. Rest easy. Some of you guys, there was some downtime. Maybe the children had a break from school, spring break or whatever, right? Um... Maybe you had a child and there was maternity leave. There's something here where you had to take a, a bit of a break. Yeah. And there it is. When you get the devil and the five of swords in a reading, you know somebody was playing games. It's manipulation tactics, though. Somebody trying to talk you out of what you already know. Strength card. But you overcame this. Ooh, and then I just lost it right as I went to grab it out of the deck because I saw it. Interesting. Somebody doesn't, oh, you know what this is. This could be somebody that, regardless of why they don't want you to have it, because there could be a million reasons to each their own. It is what it is, honest to God. But it's like, 
There could definitely be a jealousy factor here or somebody needs you to need them. What's that song? I need you to need me. I want you to want me. I'm begging you to beg me. Right? That's actually really toxic though. I know it's a catchy tune, but <laughs> it's toxic. And I feel like this person didn't want you to know your own strength, didn't want you to know your own blessings, didn't want you to know your own something because they refuse to see theirs. And I don't know if they're aware of that or not. Maybe you are. I wouldn't go and say something like that to this person because I feel like that would just spark um, a fire, you know, spark a war. They, they're not ready for, uh, what is it, constructive criticism like that? But I do feel like, yep. Ten of Wands, you're ready to drop this burden. You're like, this is too heavy. Something's not right here. I think I might have to go. Sorry, let me just reposition the camera there. And the Ace of Cups also comes out. So it's like the love that you have for yourself is absolutely going to overcome whatever... I want to say doubt... It's like somebody sees your weakness and they're trying to highlight it, you know, run a highlighter over it so that it's like what you focus on. The first thing you notice when you are addressing whatever the situation or emotion is, but it's not going to work here, Libra. I don't think it's working. Ten of Wands is where you're like, all right, I, this is too heavy. I've got to drop some of the burden. I have the one wand I'm going to keep. And then you have your Ace of Cup. Now we have the Six of Coins. <laughs> There's the Ace of Coins and the, the Ace of Swords. You have all the Aces here. That's Magician Energy. You also have the Ethers with Justice. So overcoming the evil. Whatever wrong was done to you, there it will be, I mean, I hate to say it, but there could be punishment for it. But I think it's more so a cleaning the slate. Maybe there was a, a toxic habit you had that was really hurting you. There's 10 cigarettes in a pack. Maybe it was smoking. Maybe it was drinking. Whatever it was, I feel like you're releasing it. This five of coins and five of swords could be you recognizing that something's not healthy and it's time to let it go. Put it down. Sometimes loss is not always a bad thing, right? If it's a toxic thing that you are losing, you're actually making room for healthier, right? I'm hearing somebody's heart is pounding a lot harder. Somebody's breathing is much smoother now. Six of coins. Again, something returning to you. It never actually left. There was just an illusion, a distraction. I'm also getting somebody try taking credit or taking... Yeah, it's like they didn't want you to have this. Again, for whatever reason, High Priestess, you probably already know. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. You already know why this person didn't want you to have it. And that is their own stuff that they need to work out. Please don't take it personally. I don't think it is personal. You just so happen to be the person that's got what they want. And I think they want it out of the world owes them something and you want it out of, I worked so hard for this. I've earned this. You know what I mean? That's two completely sides of the, of the table here. And I think you're sitting at the correct end of the table to receive. So stay in touch with your intuition. Always, always trust your gut. You don't always have to speak on the things that you know. Sometimes you just have to know them for yourself. Also, your intuition is going def definitely going to increase. Some of you might also, either your gifts that you already have are increasing or you might have a new gift or two. Because you have the Princess of Coins and the Ace of Cups here. So it could be a couple of new things coming in for you. Either way though, Libra, enjoy it. You earned this. All right. We have Capricorn and Libra and Pisces on the board. I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to, and I will see you soon. Until next time, stay beautiful.